Mr. Tim made my window full of dirt and he didn't clean it off. That's all right though. It's his favorite job, not. Come on, let's go, hurry up. We had it good before, I don't think I need to mess with it now. So somebody said on one of my <laughs> comments, I love these comments. Comment section is actually a really good place to gauge the type of people that watch my videos. And I got really good people that watch my videos, and I got some really dumb people that watch my videos, and I got some really inconsiderate people that watch my videos. Uh, I will say that for the most part, I hope those guys didn't. But see, that's what'll happen to you if you get in front of a pile of hay, it'll kill you. It will kill you, and that pile fell over while those guys were there. These things are probably the most dangerous thing on anybody's farm. Uh, is big square bales. They fall over quietly and you're pretty much dead before you realize that they've gotten in. So, yeah. Anyway, here we go. I gotta pull these off of here and get on my way, so just bear with me here. So what I was gonna say was that I kept hearing people tell me to go to North Texas Hay and I am subscribed to North Texas Hay. I really don't have a problem with that channel. Uh, I never did. I, you know, when Scott died, it was tragic and everything. But there's people out there comparing me to Scott, which, you know, isn't a terrible thing. Fun-loving guy, you know, loved his family. But, uh, and they're being like, oh, it's a hint, it's a hint. I'm like, well, tell me what the hell it is. You know, I'm not the type of person to beat around the bush. I want to know what you're thinking, what you're talking about when you say it. Don't talk in riddles. Uh, that is like living with my ex-wife, you know, when you live with your ex-wife, uh, she would speak in riddles and cause a whole ass ache of problems because you were supposed to read their, her freaking mind. Well, I'm not reading women's minds anymore. I have Teresa. She actually tells me what she's thinking when she's thinking it. Unless she's, you know, being a typical woman, which is very rare. She's not a typical woman. Very beautiful girl. Anyway, uh... So I had to ask this person, so what is the big deal with North Texas hay, you know? I mean, what are you hinting at? Because, and he says, oh, well, you know, if you watch his channel, you need to start watching his videos. Well, he's dead. It, you know, his wife did a few videos after his death, uh, and I thought she did okay, and I'm pretty sure she's done with YouTube. I mean, I would be. Uh, people do care about them, but, you know, it's like, oh, well, you need to watch from the time that they announced radio silence and all this other stuff you need to start there and then end at you know at the end like, all right so i've already watched these videos and i don't see what their point is so finally i was like hey asshole you know i didn't say it like that and i know the person is watching um they're telling me the, he tells me he says well scott was the kind of guy that uh, would would do everything himself and wouldn't allow his children or his wife to do what you know what he was doing he would just jump right in and do the job and they never learned how to do anything well if you've ever watched my channel and I mean if you've ever watched my channel you will know that that is the farthest thing from the truth when it comes to me um, my children Oh, that dumbass. Why did he do that? Why did you do that? Yeah, he flipped right over on his ass. He doesn't realize that he's got bad knees and uh, he's already had one surgery and he's trying to break his damn neck. So anyway, uh, if you've ever watched my channel, uh, you will know that my children do everything that I do. If they don't know how to do it, I teach them how to do it. And uh, unless it is a very dangerous task, I do not ask them to do it. I will not ask them to do it. I would rather kill myself than be part of one of my kids or nephews being seriously hurt or, you know, maimed, disfigured, or, you know, the general uh, bullshit that can happen on a farm. I just don't want those tragedies to happen. And I've always been that way because 
if you're going to have a tragedy on a farm, it isn't going to be from the guy who's been doing it all his life. It's going to be on by the kid that doesn't have the experience in what you know what they're doing, like running these pieces of equipment, like grabbing three bales. I forbid my boys to grab three bales and go across, you know, from high up and stuff like that, because you can flip the tractor. I've done this long enough that I know how to do it without getting hurt. Yes, they can do it. And I'm sure they have when I wasn't looking, but it is, you know, for the most part. This tractor I don't worry about. The other tractor I do, the 7410. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, they were referring to North Texas hay as uh, Scott would never let the kids do anything, and now they don't know what they're doing, and they're going to fail. Well, I, I, I beg to differ. I mean, maybe Scott did do that, but his kids are learning now. They're learning whether they want to do it or not, whether they want to be part of the farm or not. You know, it's just not terrible. Now you're going to see me do something that they will never do. Ready? And we're going to grab three bales. We're going to squeeze them. I don't know if I'm going to get three or just two or none. Nope. And that just snaps those god darn strings like nothing. And I can't get in there. Uh, the way I want to get in there. Shit. So, anyhow, I'm going to shut these off. I've been yamming for six minutes. Anyway. Alright, so I guess I should probably. Oh my god, I got a low tire. Just exercise in your arms. You're good, right? It's all, right? It's all. Come on, flip out. Let's go. I need some footage. I ain't doing shit twice. Well, let's do it three times. Go move my tractor. Put it in. Open the doors. Somebody is calling me. Hey. How you doing? Can you hear me? A lot of noise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. How's that? That's better. Okay, so I guess we'll talk about... God, this thing is just fogging the hell up. It's kind of aggravating, but it gives it this real sparkly view. Ooh, we're in the 1960s, Joe. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk about my 5020 and... So why don't you explain? You were one of the culprits that bashed my tractor. Maybe if it started when you turned the key, it'd be a lot nicer. It'd be, it wouldn't. Happen. Well, y'all knew how to. You guys know how to start a tractor. These things get old, and the batteries are dead, and that's what you do. You pull start them. So we were we were pulling it, and we th we had thought it had fired up. It looked like it had fired up. So I had stopped the one tractor, and. Cody had pushed in on the clutch, and I had my tractor had stopped, and it was only in first gear, 1A, and it wasn't going very fast, and I couldn't shift it fast enough, so the tractor just came rolling into the back of the... He couldn't let out on the clutch? Third. He could have. <laughs> if he did, it would have stopped. Well, I know. Tire jack, ladies and gentlemen. That shit really works. Now... Those tires, when we put tire eject in it, do you remember when we put the tire eject in it and it all, all came came out of it? That was before tire eject was blue. Yeah. And it sealed that freaking tire. And it is as bald as my head for a reason. Um, it's got tire eject in it and I don't need to buy new tires and it drives people nuts, so that's why I do it. Because there's no steering. What do you mean there's no steering? If there is just a little bit of moisture on the top of the dirt, this tractor does not turn. What are you talking about? It's got individual brakes. Yeah, you're supposed to steer the These wheel. fucking kids are so spoiled, they got four-wheel drive tractors. They don't even know what the brakes are. Uh, why do they have two brake pedals, Dad? Try one of these freaking things. You'll I know. I did. I drove it for like three weeks at one point. Hey, you drove it into the back of a tractor. That was at the end of the three-week drive. <laughs> These knuckleheads. So, there's the hood. It's crinkled. It's got a hole in it. I'm going to pull it out now, and I'm going to get a sledgehammer on one side. I'm going to start tapping it. 
to see if I can get some of those creases out of it. It just it irks me to no end how bad that is. And then I gotta take the track the hood and I'll paint it, I guess. Take it apart and I'll have it painted. You know. I mean 1967 John Deere 5020. It was near perfect. It was near perfect. Now I gotta dent the goddamn gas tank. Uh, my first tractor. This is the first tractor I bought when I started out in this business. And that muffler is not really even a muffler. Did you know that? When we when I put the turbocharger on, go ahead, point it through. When I put the turbocharger on, I knocked the uh, I knocked the baffle out of the center. You can see right through. So it does quiet it down, but it is a free flowing. Uh, Free flowing exhaust. You had nothing to do with this, did you? What? The destruction of my tractor? I wasn't around. Yeah, I didn't have to kill him. I wasn't around for this. Put, that on the, put this on the piece, dude. No, he wasn't around for that. So, really, all we're doing is putting air in the tires. I'm going to pull the batteries out. Probably going to get new batteries. I should probably buy new tires actual tires for the front of it uh, I should probably pull that that uh, injector pump and put it up to its maximum amount so we get a good 300 horsepower out of this little bitch yeah turbonium yeah, yeah. so actually no what I'll do is I'll have the uh, and it is an actual M and W you can see that right there M and W. Uh, this uh, I want to actually send the injector pump out and put it up to I don't know 160 would be good. I think that would be a good horsepower for this tractor 160, and we can pull that corn planter with it. Freeze your balls off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hell. These things are so simple. When I bought this tractor, I was like, you know, on top of the world. It was in 1994 when I bought this. When I graduated high school in 91 and I worked on the dairy here, and uh, I used the tractors that were here, the 4320 in the back, the 4010 over there, and the 4430 was all we really had. And when I was 17, we bought that 4020, but I wore that out. Uh, so when uh, I bought this, you know, my dad was like, why do you want that thing? I said, well, it's the biggest tractor that they made at the time, and I, I think it's cool. And uh, so I kept it. I, I tinkered with the idea of selling it many times. Uh, I just couldn't possibly bring myself to do it. I have footage of myself bailing with a, bit, with a big baler and this tractor. Do you remember when I bailed with a big baler with this tractor? No. Uh, you don't? I do not. Uh, how old would you have been? 2003, I think, was when I bought the 4960. So. I'd have been two, one or two. Yeah, 2000. I I bailed with this one. We used to load with the Brown Bear, and that 4320 over there has a loader for it. And uh, yeah, and I ran this tractor with the New Holland 2000 baler. Then I bought the 4960. And at the end of that first year, 2003, that's when I bought that. BB960A. Yes. I can turn on that Wouldn't do it. When a bale comes off the back end, it'll just pick up. Oh yeah, well, just well, this tractor's heavier than it looks. This is this tractor with no weights on it. I think it's something like eighteen thousand. Or this is as heavy as the. I think this one's as heavy as the seventy-eight ten. Yeah, it's pretty. Wow. It's a head. Well, look at the ass in this thing. This is a big, fat bottom girl. Uh, she's really big. That motor, that's, you know, 531 cubic inches. Uh, that's that They bored it out to the 619. That was the predecessor to the 619. The 6030, which was the same tractor, you could get it with the 531 natural at 141 horsepower. Or you could get it with the uh, 531 uh, turbocharged, which went to 175. But most of them were over 200 horsepower. The and then they went to the next, when they went to the 40 series, they went to the 619. I think it was the 40 series, they went to 619. This has 50 tons block in it, right? 
Uh, this has a 5010 engine block in it, yes. But everything else is 5020. The block is 5010. I rebuilt, I had a new block. I got a block for the 5010 block, or head is right there. Um, but oh, those, those gearboxes, we're going to take those and put them out and under the wagon house. Well, you can see how they cast these early blocks. They were different. I uh, changed it to that over the other one. I put the, this is the supply line for the turbocharger. Really, you can't tell that these tractors were not turbocharged. Um, the big difference between the 6030 and the 5020 is this silly little injector pump. And I could probably put a Bosch pump on there and change the lines, but uh, I didn't. But this is actually a 5010 injector, injector pump and it's set up and for a that's where my sd card was full so uh yeah we're we've got the 5020 in the building uh it's gonna be i'm just really disappointed as to what happened to it you know you heard joe explain it and what you saw the hood look like right there that's nothing that thing was crushed in uh carl and and uh yeah, Carl and Cody actually worked at that thing for about for about an hour, pulling on it. They heated it up. You could see that there was a little bit of a torching done to it, which you know uh, shouldn't have been torched that much. Just a little heat would have would have helped. Um, but what they did was they used the asphyxiator and got that thing good and hot. And then it it actually, when you put a lot of heat on it like that, that will actually uh, allow that stuff to be a little more malleable. Uh, but there is a crease in it, and I'm debating I'm debating whether to braze it, which I probably should just braze the damn thing shut and, uh, you know, and then uh, fix it that way. Uh, we'll braze it shut, and then uh, there's, uh, what do you call it, PC, PC7 or JB Weld, JB Quick Weld. You take that stuff and put over top of it and use that as a, as a body filler. Uh, instead of using, say, actual body filter, cause, filler, because that stuff won't crack. Um, and uh, then I'll use a high buildup, a high buildup, uh, what do you call it, uh, a high buildup uh, primer. And uh, then I'll get it smoothed out again, and then I'll have to paint the tractor. I'm not in the mood to paint the tractor. I don't really want to paint the tractor, uh, but I should. I should probably just send it out and have it painted. Just say, okay, here it is, guys. Paint this son of a bitch and make it look good. Uh, I won't be using cheap crap paint either. I'll actually use uh, proper John Deere paint with the hardener and all that stuff if I do decide to paint the tractor. It would look sweet. It would look really sweet, but I'd have to get the decals and all that other happy horse shit that goes along with it, which, no big deal. I can do that. I've done it before. Did it on the 4430. Uh, years and years ago, I painted the 4430. It was beat and just looked terrible. Uh, the problem with the paint that I used on the 4430 was that I didn't use a hardener. It was crappy paint. It was John Deere paint, but I didn't get the hardener with it. And uh, uh, you could just tell. It, it oxidizes real easy. So, But anyways, that's that's the deal. i uh, got a bit of a cold going on. I can feel it in my nostrils. Um, but yeah, so... That's it. Um, I did clear out the SD card, and uh, the next footage that you'll see will probably be of me uh, changing out an injector pump. I'm going to change that injector pump. I have the 5020 injector pump, and I'm going to go have it set up uh, to have a little more horsepower, like I said in the video. Uh, my goal is to have that thing about 160, 170 horsepower. Um, that was, it was supposed to be 141 horsepower naturally aspirated uh but i never felt it was that way i always felt the the uh 4430 always had a lot more giddy up and go uh it is a lighter frame tractor but it it definitely it definitely was more like the 121 horsepower uh 5020 and it should have been 141 horsepower with that pump on there uh and if i would have left the I'm sure it was only 121 horsepower. That was what they were supposed to be. And uh, I had them turn that up 6% back when back when I was uh when I had that injector pump overhaul the last time and I just I was never satisfied with the power. 
sorry. They told me, it's always, you're just going to waste fuel. I was like, I don't give a shit. Just give me some smoke, man. I want that thing to burn. And, uh, yeah, but with a turbocharger on there, I think the bad boy's going to work. So, anyways, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That actually does help the channel. Um, you know, that it's it would just help me and the channel. If you don't like it, well, don't do it.